let's just start with what is it for, yeah. right? And how we are approaching it. So I think it's very important to understand that quantum computing is not here to substitute the existing computing today, the class classical computers. Mm -hmm. And the approach that we are taking is a hybrid approach. So we see the future of computing, a combination of three capabilities. Yeah. The bits that exist today in the classical computers, AI and the neurons, right? So the uh, neural uh, networks that you're going to implement to make the best out of AI technologies, and then the qubits of quantum. So when we think about quantum computing, where are we in terms of the development, right? So we approach this from three dimensions. First, the performance. Performance is absolutely critical, and I'm going to break down how you address performance. Yeah. Then value, which is your ability to do more with less. And finally, adoption, because you will need to create a new set of development capabilities, professionals, skilled resources to take advantage of this technology. Yeah. So let's start with performance. Performance is about the amount of qubits that you can put on a single chip. Mm -hmm. So at the end of last year, we announced a major milestone. We achieved 433 qubits yeah. in one single chip. If you, can, if you think about it, 2016, our co quantum computer had five qubits. Wow. Now 433 is a mm -hmm. significant growth. Um, then the second aspect is um, making sure that those qubits that are inside those chips, they behave properly according to quantum physics. physics. And that's the topic of um, quality of the circuits that you have. And um, this is an area that is extremely complex because basically you get a pair of qubits and make sure that they sustain the operations. Uh, and then as you start to uh, compound that, it's almost like you are comparing on how a, a quantum computer performs against a classical computer in terms of the transistors that you can put on a single board. Right. Um, and then the third element is the speed of the circuits that you have in the quantum computer so that they can perform the operations faster. Yeah. So that's the topic of performance. Okay. The topic of value is really making sure that you change the way that you are uh, executing the operations in the circuits. Mm -hmm. And then the element of adoption. So basically, we develop um, a platform, and, uh, a language, a programming language called QSKIT, which is the basis for developing new code in quantum. And we have to make sure that we scale the knowledge in that, in that uh, platform. So mm. today we have 450,000 users logged in to learn about QSKIT. Okay. More than 2 million downloads of the code and more than 200 partners in our network that are already testing and using real-world cases yeah. to simulate how quantum computing could solve some of the complex problems.